trench coat wearing Lloyd Dobler holding a boombox over his head. This image has forever imprinted an image in our heads. To me, that image sounds of three things. Innocence, hope, and true love. Hello, my friends. I am Tampa J, and there is much ahead. Today's journey begins at Eddie and Sam's Pizzeria in downtown Tampa. Hello there. Welcome. I am having a slice of pizza before I head over to the Straz Center of Performing Arts for an exciting adventure. Mm, I'm going to attend a special screening of the 1989, so I wrote down a few lines, whatever, but a 1989 classic movie, a movie called Say Anything with John Cusack. John Cusack will actually be there tonight watching the movie with me. Not just with me. There's probably going to be about 300 people in the crowd, but you know what I'm saying. He's actually going to be there. Yes, slightly awkward Lloyd Dobler will be there himself. I've always loved this movie, and I'm just excited. When I heard that was going down, I had to come check it out. And of course, you're coming with me. I appreciate you being here. Without further ado, it's time to head on down to the Strass Center. Okay guys, so I had to duck for cover and kind of go an alternate route just to stay out of the rain, but it seems to have died down now. I'm walking over to the Straz Center to actually get my ticket. I, uh, I booked it for Will Call. Make no mistake, this building right here is the Straz Center for the performing arts and is where we are going today. Of course the Straz Center is a performing arts venue that houses all kinds of different events, including movies, concerts, and even plays. There's actually Broadway plays that perform here year round. The next one, I believe, will be Aladdin. I know I'd like to check that out. Also, in October, there will be a live action performance of Roald Dahl's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. But tonight, good old Lloyd Dobler will be here. And that's why I'm here. I wonder if he's driving that Challenger. There it is, Broadway magic. December 19th through January 5th. I might have to come check that out. What is this? Oh wait, that's a photo opportunity, isn't it? <laughs> now this is a hidden gem. Never knew this was here before. This is my first time at the Strat Center though. I can't believe I haven't been here already. And right next to the coffee shop, is the ticket center over to the left is Will Call. Thank you for having me. Enjoy the show. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Here's their Broadway schedule for 2019 and 2020. Take a look to see if there's anything you're interested in. I'm definitely interested in Aladdin and maybe My Fair Lady. I don't know. Maybe. The Straz Center sits along the edge of the Hillsborough River and the Tampa River Walk, which is down there where those people are. It's a nice stroll to take a walk along the River Walk when it's not raining. <laughs> but the actual Strath Center is right here behind me. And this would be the main entrance. Right there, there's the valet parking. And I parked way back there where the SunTrust building is.
just beyond that drawbridge, you can see the tips of the University of Tampa, the former Henry B. Plant Hotel. Under the bridge comes the Tampa Bay Water Taxi. This will take you all the way up to Seminole Heights, I believe, or maybe it just stops at Armature. Actually, yeah, it stops at Armature Works, which is a trendy place right now, a place to get some food and some beverage at the end of the river. All right, I'm about to walk into the Straz Center. Don't know if they'll let me film in there, but we'll find out. I have made it into the main lobby. Looks like there's uh, quite a bit of things going on here. I'm gonna explore it. Check out this maestro. His actual name is Fioso. So I was warned that I cannot film inside the theater, of course, but I can film in the lobby. It looks like there's a restaurant over there, a little cafe. Maestro's Cafe, go figure, but it's a pretty fancy place here at the Strass Center. And there's beverages too. Looks like we even have Lloyd Dobler holding the boombox on the drink menu. This place is pretty fancy and it looks like most people came dressed up to the event. I'm glad I wore a button up. I hope they don't mind the uh, baseball cap though. Hope that's all right. Just wouldn't be me without it. At least I think so. And if you guys watched the last video, you know I cannot play that. Well guys, I'm about to enter the theater, so I have to put the camera away. I'll get back with you after the show. Looks like a good crowd. All right guys, I had a good time in there watching Say Anything starring John Cusack, and John Cusack was there at the end with a Q&A, and unfortunately, I couldn't record, man, sometimes you start filming a video and you, you have a thought in your head, and it just doesn't work out that way. I had a whole vision of what might happen tonight. I really thought that somehow I was gonna be able to record, um, but it just didn't work out. But it was cool to get to know John Cusack a little more. He he was himself. He dropped the F-bomb a few times. <laughs> a few times, probably five or six. Just casually, nothing vulgar, if you consider that a possibility. But the questions that were asked of the crowd were predetermined. They were on three by five cards. John was asked several questions. Ioni Sky was not there. That was a miscommunication. Something I read online wasn't wasn't true, or maybe I just read it wrong. But uh, he was asked if he liked pineapple on pizza. No, he does not like pineapple on pizza. He was asked a lot of music questions because he's a lover of music. Such bands came up, such as um, The Clash, Sex Pistols, Bob Dylan, The Replacements, um, Led Zeppelin, Black Sabbath. He's got great taste in music, I, I believe, in my opinion. I like I like all those bands mentioned, so that was cool. Um, he's ri written, directed, produced many movies. A lot of movie questions were asked. Uh, questions about his sister Joan were brought up because John and his sister were in a lot of movies together, including Say Anything. She actually played his sister in the movie. So, if you haven't seen Say Anything, I really, um, if I really suggest go seeing it. For me, watching that movie when I was basically at the same point in my life as Lloyd Dobler was, coming out of high school, um, going into a relationship, not really having one in high school, but and then going through that transitional period and not knowing what the heck you're doing, seeing that movie kind of kind of entertained me and calmed me down in the coolest way, and I could really relate to Lloyd Dobler. I know a lot of people can. He was me in high school, basically. I'm so stereotypical to say that, but if you're not into romantic teen dramas, you don't have to see the movie, but I lived it, so I enjoyed it. And all the acting in the movie was really good. It was like one of those first teen melodrama movies where it seemed realistic, and hats off to Cameron Crowe, which it was his first film. Uh, 
wrote it, directed it, and I think it was one of the best pictures to come out that year. I think um, uh, Roger Ebert said it was one of the best. But anyways, how charming was it to come here tonight at the Strat Center and watch Say Anything with John Cusack and afterwards a Q&A. Now, I don't know how exciting of a video this may have been. Um, I'm sorry if to let you down. I tried to snap a few pictures, but nah, they weren't having it. The lady tapped me on the shoulder and the lady next to me reminding us that there is no photography, but I tried. Um, anyways, thanks guys. I appreciate you, all, appreciate you all joining me on this journey. I don't want you to give up on me <laughs> for this epic fail because of this epic fail. I do have plans. There are a lot of videos coming up. Um, the content will be better. But um, I hope you enjoyed this journey this far. Plane tickets are booked and I will be traveling soon. So stay with me. It's never going to end. I'm always out thinking about or searching for my next idea, my next video. And I do it because it's fun. I know I mentioned that someday I want to do this full time and that's because I have such a good time at it. But my ultimate goal is to make a video every single day of my life and perhaps make a movie one day. That's my dream. I've always been a lover of film and movies and when I was a kid I wanted to make my own movie. And I used to have video cameras. I used to record on Hi8 tape on my little Sony camera. My brother and I would make home movies. Maybe I'll find some of those. Maybe I'll upload them one day. But anyways, this is my love. This is my passion. And it's developed into a hobby and into a YouTube channel. And I share it with you every day and I, I wish I had more time to do it. So again, I am so sorry for the epic fail. I really wish that I could have brought you John Cusack or a little bit from the question, the Q&A, but I couldn't. And the camera's falling, whoa! But now I got a long walk back to my car. I parked in the middle of downtown. Well, that all being said, Thanks guys, I'm really gonna end it this time. There's much ahead, bye bye.